Activate your energy. Welcome to the Activated Authors Podcast, a show where we distill the core principles of what it takes to become a happy, healthy, and productive author, no matter what stage of the journey you're at. I'm your host, Daniel Wilcox. I'm an international best-selling author, as well as an author coach, speaker, and creative entrepreneur. But most importantly, I'm a lifelong student of all things productivity, psychology, and human behavior. Thank you for joining me for today's episode. Without further ado, let's dive in. What is up, Activators? Welcome back to another episode of the Activated Authors Podcast. You're on your tiptoes again. Yeah. <laughs> so we apologize for the change in scheduling this week, but we figured because me and Sam are both at the London Book Fair 2023, as you can, I'll do a bit of a sweep for, for the video. If you're listening on the podcast feed, obviously you won't see it, but check it out on YouTube. You'll probably hear it. You'll, you'll hear it. Yeah, it's a bit of background noise, a bit different, but we just wanted to say, well, jump on and basically talk a little bit about, you know, why it's good to attend the fair. We knew we were coming here, so we figured, you know, well, we might as well do it live. Yeah. Um, and as we were always so organised, we obviously didn't mention it last week. But we've already had a few messages of people just like, where's the podcast? It's like, yes. it's here. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, London Book Fair. Yes. Why did you come, Sam? I came because you came and I was like, all right, I'll come along. Works perfectly. <laughs> yeah. And to be fair, I've, I've never been to the London Book Fair before. Yeah. I've like heard it a few times like it's one of those things that like it's been on my list to come um and i figured this year was the year to come along and see what it's all about like i've been to a few conferences i've been to a few events i've not been to a particular book fair mm-hmm. um and i didn't really know what to expect coming in and like we both came with a very chilled out view of what to see like yeah there's there's talks you know you can see like in the background all the different stalls and things for different people there's so many stalls so many stalls there's a lot of people um and it was one of those things where it was like well let's just take our time mosey on see what it's about because you know potentially you can come back next year yeah. and go find out more about this find out more about that um and so you know what is what is your kind of takeaway been from the fair for you because obviously like it's slightly different for where you're at in your journey because i've been speaking to publishers and other people and whatnot. Yeah. um but talk a little bit about your experience um so like it's not for me <laughs> um <laughs> For a number I, of reasons. Yeah, like yeah. I li- like when we got here, the first thing I did was have a panic attack because it's so big and so noisy and there's so many people. Um, and yeah, I just there's lots and lots of like stands or ex- exhibits. I don't know what you call exhibits, them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, with obviously lots of publishers, traditional publishers, and independents and all the rest of it. But it's, professional change arm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice. hurts doing it on the bed. Yeah, go on. Yeah, nice. Um, but yeah, it's it re- it's really like kicked my ass when it comes to just my anxiety and all the rest of it. And a lot of the talks that we've been to, they're kind of like very um, foundation level. Yeah. So I've it's I'm not gotten the most from it, but I did get to meet um, some of our activated authors in person. Yes. So that was lovely. So I got yep. I got some hugs. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But that's kind of like it's not. I'm not great with in-person like networking and that kind of thing. It's not really my vibe. Yeah. Uh, because I generally need to go sit in a room for an hour to get over a panic attack. Um, but yeah, that's what I've gotten out of it. Should have got a selfie stick. This really hurts. Yeah. You. I don't know how people vlog like as a as a thing. Oh, thank you. That was awesome. Oh my god. I, it's like when you hold a baby for a while and then it suddenly goes. Um, I have to hold it really high. Yeah, but it's like you know, there's there's a lot of talking, like you say, it's a lot of sort of walking around and it's. Um, yeah, the, the talks are pretty foundational, but, you know, it's because we're very much in the independent self-published sphere, lots of the traditional publishers are here. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm this is going to be so good in. for people watching I'm on YouTube. I'm trying to get your head <laughs> in. I'm so small. But because it's, um, you know, there's a lot of focus on traditional publishing here, so a lot of the talks tend to be about stuff that us as indies have probably heard about two, maybe even three years ago. Yeah, there's a lot of people surprised about AI. Yeah, very, very surprised. Oh. Um but I mean, for me, it's been a nice chance. Like, there's a few publishers here, like um, Titan Books, Main Tree Press, who do a lot of horror stuff. So I've kind of had some chats with them. I got to know the people at Bookseller, who yeah. you know do a lot of publishing news and things. I got to see some familiar faces. So I've seen uh, Barry Hutchinson, JD yes. Kirk, seen Michael Andley. Joanna Penn. Little chat with Joanna Penn. Um, yeah, I think for you know, it depends what it is you want out of it. Like, I recommend coming to at least one. 
yeah, I'm just glad to see I came. what's going on. I'm yeah. glad I came. Like, I would definitely, like, I think an author summit is more my speed. Yes, this Smaller, is... Smaller, like, more in-depth kind of seminar vibe where yeah. I get to sit down and just, like, take notes. Well, because it's a big event and they've got, like, the different areas of publishing, <laughs> um, it hurts, right? Right. We've swapped together people on the podcast. <laughs> um, there's different areas. So we've got, like, there's, like, academic journalists, there's accessibility mm. um, areas, there's, you know, things specifically for printing. There's, like, yeah. whole, almost, like, indie corner... Um, you've got loads of different publishing houses, like somewhere in the back is Harper Collins and Penguin and Simon and Schuster. Um, so it's worth, yeah, just having a having a look around, getting yeah. like, a feel for it. But it definitely is much more, you know, it's kind of like window shopping to understand the publishing industry. Yeah. Um, so you can go to the stands and like, to be fair, a lot of the stands are run by volunteers who will give you very, very minimal information. In. There have been a few that have been very, very informative and useful. Yes, but there are a lot that direct you to the website. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, like you say, the chance to meet the activated authors, the mm-hmm. chance to, you know, just go around, see people talk. Like, for me, I'd definitely, I'd come again. I'm very much interested in that, like, networking side of stuff. Like, there are some people here that I really like talking to. <laughs> are you not happy you showed that face? <laughs> no, I didn't control that very well. But yeah, I would say if you're very early in your journey and you're fixed on going indie, like you say, those smaller summits are yeah, much, yeah. much more, um, you just get much more from them because it's a much smaller room. <laughs> Like, there's about five talks going on at a time, which means that you have to kind of pick between which ones uh, you want to go to. Whereas, like, yeah, you want to kind of be where your crowd is. If you're thinking of going yeah. trad, like, I think there's a lot of value here. If yeah. You, if you're thinking of going indie, but you're not sure, there's value here. Um, yeah. there is there is an indie presence, but we're very much in the back corner. Yeah, it is very, it's very much for traditional. And there's, like, you know, there's agents here that you can, from the looks of it, you can, like, book slots to speak to agents. And obviously you can go speak to people at Random House and like you say Harper Collins, Simon Schuster, like big publishing houses are here. Yeah. Um, so if you are interested in kind of going down the traditional route or at least attempting to pursue that route, then there is a lot here for you. Yes. Um there like like Dan says, there's stuff here for Indies as well, but it is definitely like it's definitely a traditional fair that have stuck us on. <laughs> yeah. Which it has been for a few years to be fair. Like I yeah. don't know if that will change anytime soon. Um, but I mean in terms of oh, handy in terms of, uh, oh, we got short arms though. I know. Hello. So, Hello. <laughs> so in terms of like things to take away for you, I got you a take? sticker. I'm taking that away. I remember to bring your glasses. I couldn't find my glasses this morning, and I, I'm, I can't see. So Sam's met lots of fuzzy shapes today. Lots of fuzzy shapes. But I mean, for me, like I've got a few. Um, for one of a better way to say it, backdoor email addresses for services that I'm interested in. You've got backdoor email addresses for services that you're interested in. Yeah. Are you happy? With I went that through sentence? very back alley routes. Really got stuck in there. But no, like I've I've spoken I've spoken to some people that not only like really really good conversations, but I've learned a lot because you know I've made no secret of the fact I'm interested in trying to get Bram Stoker. Yep. Finding out a bit more about you know a bit more of um, traditional horror yep. representation and stuff. <laughs> yep. Yep. And so. That's been very, very useful. I've gone to a few places, I've spoken to some people, and I've gotten some very, very useful information that I'm taking home that I've got to digest. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, just again, like the chance to see people in, yes. in the flesh is, it's always worth doing it. So um, yeah, I think broadly speaking, that kind of wraps up so far. I mean, we, it's the Wednesday today, it runs Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. We've got tomorrow, we're going to have a lunch with the Activated Authors. Yeah. Um, but that kind of broadly covers yeah, a lot I of think the talk so. points. So, if you haven't gone to an event, highly recommend it. It's well worth going. Um, even just as a bit of scouting mission. It's one of those places as well where you can just talk to anyone. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone's very, very friendly. I've met some new people, seen some old faces. But, like, people are chatty. They're all here for the same reason. So, if you do go to one, make an effort to speak if you can. Just check things out. For some reason, they're giving away massages in the middle of the room, which you do not understand. Um, What's relaxing about a stranger <laughs> touching you while the strangers walk past strangers. you? It's weird. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely, I'd recommend it. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. I think it's everything. So, short one this week, and we'll be back to our regular scheduling next week. But one more time from us: if you want to find all about activated off at the usual spill, activatedoffers.com, you know where to find us. Yeah. And yeah, we will see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Activate your energy. Thanks for listening to the Activated Authors Podcast. If you're ready to unlock your true potential and activate your author career, then head on over to www.activatedauthors.com to find out more.